Hi everyone, welcome to War Thunder Update 1.63 Desert Hunters. Why Desert Hunters? Now the game has a brand new desert location for combined battles called Sinai. Tankers and pilots of War Thunder will clash over control of an oil refinery on this map. This is a well-balanced map for all types of armored vehicles and tactics, from daring rushes and cutting out flanking moves, to sniper ambushes and close-range battles. Air Arcade Battles also got a new location called Reese, which is bound to be popular among pilots who prefer aggressive and high-speed dogfighting. Like a bright Mediterranean scarf, the cliffy slopes and mountaintops are covered with neat little villages of tiled roof houses. The location is rich with cover, ravines and sharp turns. Go full throttle, hold on tight to your controls and welcome to the stone corridors of Greece. We have added over 20 new vehicle models with this update, many of which are truly unique. Enter the long-awaited top-rank AA guns, the Soviet Shilka with four auto cannons, the high-caliber German Flak Panzer Gepard, and the legendary rapid-firing American M163 Vulcan. Its 20mm Gatling cannon can spit out a veritable river of flame, firing at 3,000 rounds per minute. A new champion among War Thunder aircraft enters the stage, the six-engine Blumen Foss BV-238 flying boat, with a wingspan of 60 meters. This giant is capable of carrying an enormous bomb load, while its six powerful engines and decent defensive armament make this machine a tough nut for enemy fighters to crack. The British Ground Forces tree now has several new additions, including the researchable Swingfire anti-tank vehicle armed with ATGMs. German tankers are also getting a new toy to play with, the brand new modification of Raket and Jagdpanzer II equipped with second-generation anti-tank guided missiles and a drum loader. We've also included some nice additions to Rank 1, the second 5 tour tank in the game, Britain's A1A1 Independent, armed for a 3 powder cannon and 4 machine guns and rotating turrets. The game's range of powerful but brittle glass cannons is expanded by two new interesting models, the American M56 Scorpion with its 90mm cannon and the legendary German 88mm Flak 37 cannon installed on a half-track. These overwhelmingly powerful weapons can destroy any target at the rank, but the lack of any meaningful armor demand that its commander must be skillful in their use. May the best win! Plus, there's one more long-anticipated machine for defense of the German vehicles. New modification of the Leopard A1A1 with a bleak armor around the turret and additional machine gun. Pilots are also getting their share of goodies with this update. The Su-6 ground attack plane is ready to compete for the title of the best ground pounder of War Thunder. Two 37mm cannons, bombs, 10 rockets and its easy handling make for a very good contestant indeed. American pilots are getting the F-9F-8 Cougar, a swept-wing jet fighter, the direct descendant of the Panther fighter jet. Japanese aviators now have the Ki-87, the turbocharged piston-engine interceptor that is armed to the teeth. But that is not all. Update 1.63 Desert Hunters has many more additions, including vehicles, improved damage models, new tank gun sights, graphical improvements, and much more. You can read the full change log at War Thunder's official website, subscribe to our channel on YouTube, and follow us on all major social networks. And of course, try out the new additions yourself in the game. See you on the battlefields of War Thunder Update 1.63 Desert Hunters.